Hello, welcome. Question uh, 11b, WASI 2025, the January February edition of the commerce. Given that the tan x is given as 12 on 5, where x is an acute angle, we have to evaluate these uh, trigonometric functions. Now that we have been given the tan x and an unknown angle with each fraction, remember the tan is a ratio comparing the opposite side of the triangle to the adjacent. So let's make a sketch of what that will look like. So if this is a right angle triangle, then we can, let's say we have the angle X here. X is opposite to this side. So that is going to be our 12. Then the adjacent is going to be the side perpendicular to the opposite and that is going to be 5 so we need to find the value here this very one then finding here we also we can use the Pythagoras theorem So using the Pythagoras theorem, the longest side here is a y square followed by 12 square and 5 square. y will be the square root of 12 square, 144, 5 square, 25. That means the root of what? 169. And that will be nothing but what? 13. Meaning here is going to be 13. So if that is true, we are looking for cos. Remember, your so catois. If I take the cos of x, which is the ka, ka means adjacent over hypotenuse. And this is the opposite side, the adjacent hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse, meaning 5 on what? 13. Then if you pick Let's put an asterisk here. If I pick the sign of the angle X, which is also going to pick so, so opposite over hypotenuse, 12 over what? 13. So in simplification or the evaluation of 2 cos X minus sine X all over 5 cos X plus 3 side x we only do substitution the cos x is here so 2 times 5 on 13 minus you know 5 on 13 then the sine which is 12 on 13 all divided by 5 multiplying the cos again which is 5 on 13 plus 3 multiplying the sine which is also 12 on what? 13. We can deal with each numerator separately or move along with them. You know, these two multiply the top only. That gives you 10 divided by 13, 12 divided by 13. Then we have 5 times this will also be 25 on 13. 3 times this will be 36 on what? 13. Remember, like fractions, when you have the same denominators, you will print only the numerators, meaning 10 minus what? Uh, 12. That will give us a minus uh, 2 divided by the same 13. Let me just say divided by this division is in this form. I have the same denominator, so I am going to compute the, the numerators. So 25 plus this, that will be 30, uh, 50, 61, right? So I still have 61 divided by what? 13. So if I maintain the first fraction and change this to multiplication, I have to reciprocate 13 and 61 down. So 13, we we'll cancel 13. I should be left with only minus 2 divided by what? 61. So the value of 2 cos 
x minus sine x divided by 5 cos x plus what? 3 cos x will be negative 2 on what? 61. This is a quick one from the little application of what? Trigonometry. Like the video, share, comment, and subscribe.